wanted to show you what I have to do for Chinese food up here. <clears throat> See that faded sign? Barbecue house. Right in the same building as a gun shop. This is a shady little place there. And it's pretty much a, I don't know, a front for something else. Nobody's ever there. But I'll show you. guy makes the food in that little building there that I just showed you and uh, right across the street over here Now, you would think, oh, what are you talking about? You got two Chinese restaurants right there down the street from you. No. The guy makes the food over there at the barbecue house, and he brings it over here in his trunk. And uh, this place here, you go into the Highlands Tavern, you go upstairs, and they got a bunch of... Uh, pool tables and stuff, I guess, and uh, you sit at the bar up there and you can order the Chinese food from the place next door, so that being said, you'd say, well, that's not too bad, but I gotta tell you, the food is barely edible in my opinion no Chinese food I had it once actually I think we uh, might have gave it one more shot because I usually give things you know another shot give them a fair chance maybe they had an off night you know maybe they uh, they just had an off night and they can make up for it, but it's uh, terrible, terrible food. So now we travel down the long road to the next town over, and I'm going to show you where you get the best Chinese food for, you know, being up here in the middle of nowhere and you're not going to believe where we're going to get it all the people coming home from work work in Bangor an hour away this 55 mile an hour road we step down to 35 
miles per hour speed limit to 25 and uh, this small town of uh, East Millinocket used to be very busy with the, when the mill was open and uh, a lot of truckers the logging trucks you know would come through and uh, people got killed from uh, you know speeding trucks and vehicles uh, and that's why they have the speed limit so low that's why I was told that's what I was told anyway so here we are in a snow filled parking lot we have uh, police station fire station everything station across the street where are we going to get Chinese food well we're going to get it from a camper. All right. Started off as just a tow behind camper. This is a uh, little trailer they just added on for extra storage or something. Not really sure. But if you step right in there that's where you pick up your uh, Chinese food all plasticed off and uh, plastic separating you from the lady inside and this family they run this um, don't know how many years it's been open but it's I mean not what you would expect from a trailer for Chinese food it's it's just uh, people you know they don't understand <clears throat> they don't want to try it because they say I'm not gonna get Chinese food out of a camper there's no way I'm eating that but once you try it you'll understand that it's uh, it's some gourmet Chinese food Dumplings. Now you gotta smell that for the whole ride back. just uh, thought I'd turn the camera on I eat half a chicken finger can't I, I just can't make the ride without it you know it's just gonna kill me just look at it but I mean hey you gotta try this you swallowed it you didn't even chew it. Sheesh. Oh. 
the old scrap yard. Crushed everything. Supposedly, it's got the building sold. Back the truck in to cover up the scale. Or I made Chinese food out of a camper. living right here up here in Maine Chinese food still got Christmas lights up because I like to party what you don't oh, I'm full see that's the look and the color of the MSG oh. <clears throat> sleepy time still plowing out there Still watching. I know you would. I know you would still watch. After all these times. There you go. Chinese food from a camper. See on the street. 